all these years of my visits to United States, I don't catch influenza when it's running rampantly all over. Today's studies have been done in uh, Harvard Medical School to show how this simple process enhances your immune system. If you do these things, you can sh see a significant increase in your immune system. Black sesame, very rich in antioxidants, rich source of iron, copper, zinc and uh, vitamin B and foliate, vitamin E and all these things. Well, I don't look at things like this, but black sesame has been my companion all my life, especially on my trekking trips when <laughs> I trekked alone. The roasted black uh, sesame kept me alive and going and energetic throughout. It also does wonders to your cartilage and uh, bone joints, encourages heart health, and uh, it is part of Southern Indian tradition during winter time when skin tends to uh, break because of uh, the cold and heat in southern India. At the same time, we consume sesame at that time, there's a whole tradition, especially in Karnataka where everybody shares sesame with each other's families as an encouragement to consume sesame seeds because skin health will be very good inside out. And also, sesame is also very rich in iron. Those of you who are anemic for women especially, Sesame is a very good thing to eat. It also assists uh, young women and uh, makes their ovulation process much healthier. Horse gram is one among the lentils. It is the most protein-rich lentil found on the planet. It's very high-powered, so that's why race horses are fed with this gram, which is called as horse gram today. In the market, it's unfortunately called horse gram. It's called kollu in Tamil and Uruli in other languages, Ululu in Telugu. So, uh, this is a very good thing. It's good to sprout it. If you sprout it, you digest it much more easily. You can keep it in a bowl in your room, get one white cloth, put it in that, soak it in the water for about six to eight hours, then tie it in a cloth and keep it closed. In about three days, it'll sprout. If it's sprouted, you can just eat it raw. If it's come out about half an inch out of the seed, you can eat it raw. It takes a lot of chewing and eating. You chew it and eat it. It's very good. Now, this will increase heat in the body. Today, sun is up and suppose today you drink kollu or eat kollu and you feel too much heat, then you must balance it by eating green gram sprouted green gram will cool the system. How do you know excessive heat is? You will notice your eyeballs are hot. Or you want to go and pee, you want to pee, it's full but it won't come out, it hurts. That means there is excess heat. Such a thing happens, you just drink some ash gourd juice or eat some green gram or take some castor oil and apply it on, you know, either inside the navel or the anahata, the Vishuddhi, this place and these two spots behind the ears, if you apply instantly, within five minutes, the system will cool down, go to the bathroom, everything will happen without effort. Just being conscious, how much of what? What is body's requirement today? That's what you do. All these years of my visits to United States, I don't catch influenza when it's running rampantly all over. The simple thing is just this, hot water, a little bit of honey, little bit of turmeric and uh, if uh, it is possible, some pudina or coriander in it a little bit. And every three hours if you drink it, respiratory infections won't happen to you because all these infections first lodge themselves in your throat and then they go into the respiratory tract. But if you drink these substances, warm water with honey, turmeric and coriander or uh, pudina, then that goes into the stomach bag and there they are not very effective. They can't cause much damage to you. It has helped me in from the… I'm just telling you grandmother stuff, not medical stuff, okay? But it's worked 
it works for my grandmother, it works for me <laughs>